Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on the new UJAM instrument, VG Carbon. For those of you who've used the other virtual guitarist instruments from UJAM, you're going to find this fairly familiar. Their interfaces all have a nice, consistent approach. In this video, I want to take a kind of general overview walkthrough of where everything is, and then the next videos will dig into the individual aspects more deeply. Now, at the top, we can call up presets here. And this calls up the entire state of the instrument. And when I say the entire state of the instrument, we can basically look at it as two, broadly speaking, components. This upper part here deals with the parts that are going to be played. And this bottom part over here deals with the actual sound of the instrument. So these presets call up presets for different phrases that can be triggered, as well as settings over here. Now we can separately call up phrase banks over here, and these leave the state of the instrument sound the same, but call up different phrases. Now, one thing that's new with Carbon that's different than the other guitar instruments is that we can use player mode, which as we're familiar with, plays phrases, or we can use instrument mode, which allows us to actually play the instrument, either individual notes or chords. When we're working in player mode, this bottom range always contains a set of common phrases that can be triggered, and they don't change when we change the banks of style phrases here. And a nice new aspect of Carbon is that we have shredding phrases on these black notes for really fast, hard to play different types of ideas. So just to give you an example, I'll hold a note up here, and right now it's gonna play this phrase. And then if I trigger one of the shreds, it'll play that. And then when I release the note, revert back to this. And because we're in chords mode here, I can play chords. Versus single mode where we just play individual notes. Another nice new enhancement with Carbon is that the top area of the notes here are drag and drop areas where we can simply click and drag this into our DAW to drag MIDI files in and then edit them. So here we call up the different phrases. And once we do that, this will load a new set of different phrases that can be triggered. These are our areas of the keyboard that we can actually play the notes, either single or chords. And when we're working in player mode, we have some timing adjustments we can do here. We can double the time or half the time, and we can play a bit ahead or behind the beat or at a swing feel. And we have a latch mode so that we don't need to keep our fingers down on the notes in order for them to keep playing. We have a key field here where we can force the notes and the phrases to conform to the notes of these particular keys. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The condition knob switches between different arrays of amp setups. And the idea with Carbon is that it's based on a custom built eight string low range guitar with drop tuning and it's recorded through a huge custom setup of amp and cabinet models. And it's meant to be a heavy rock metal type sound, but also to go beyond that and get some extreme sound design type of effects and textures and rhythms. So here we go through the different amp arrays and the severity knob is a bit like drive or gain, but it also controls the level and depth of distortion. And when we dial it up beyond two o'clock, we can get some really aggressive sounds. Let me go into latch mode. I'll hold down a chord and release the keys. It'll keep playing. And while it's playing, we can not only switch style phrases, but I'm gonna also dial through here to give you an idea or a sense of what these parameters do. So we can get some really intense overdrive. Now the focus knob changes the character of the sound. So let's try that again and let's try some different phrases here. So a very different character. And here we have resonant low pass filter in negative range a very resonant high pass filter in the positive range. Mm -hmm. 
Now, finisher is interesting. It's basically a macro that controls a series of effects based on what we choose in the mode here. And then we can dial up the amount. And this is controlled with the mod wheel. So again, there's a variety of different options here and they all have different effects. And we can really dial in some extreme modulation and effects rack type processing. So I'll just to give you a little taste of some of the possibilities. We'll explore them in more detail throughout the videos. Now at the bottom, we have a layering section, and this is really interesting. It lets us stack and position up to four carbons on top of each other. Right now, we've been listening in double mode, but we can go to single mode, triple, or four modes. And then here, we can choose the distance between the different layers, the spread of them, and separation. So we get some nice stereo thickening and width. Let's try this again and try again different ones to change the patterns up. really interesting. And finally, we have instrument mode where we can trigger multi samples and the key switch area on the left allows us to gradually toggle between shorter muted notes and longer sustained notes. For example, let me take this out of latch mode. And it's really interesting when we're in latch mode, we can use this to toggle in the different areas. So we can really play like a two handed piano player or guitar player. And we have a legato mode over here. Let's take latch mode off. So in this mode, we'll only hear one note at a time when overlapping notes happen. And in this mode, we'll hear them cumulatively. So that's the big picture. Join me in the next videos and we'll take a deep dive into some of the things this instrument can do.